Here again. Bloody hell, I need a shave. Drinking um, Rasto, which is a French uh, wine. I think it is French, I know. It ought to be, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> French wine, 75 CLs. Uh, the writing on the back is all in French, so that doesn't help in the slightest bit. Got it from, I think, Tesco's, if I'm being honest. So, let's pour one of these bad boys out. Down a treat. It will do at least. So it's Sunday afternoon. Don't know if I set this to live or unlisted. Oh, I did actually set it to live then. One never knows. I never know when I'm setting stuff. Sometimes it's live, sometimes it's not. So, anyway, yeah, nice looking wine. French Rasta. Rasta is, is a very nice wine. Oh, quite strong, ripe, um, dark fruits on the aroma. Good looking body to it. Dark red pour. Looks a little light, if I'm being honest. About nine quid a bottle for the bottle. And, uh, yeah, just got to be a short review. Mm -hmm. I'm all good with that. Hello from EE. Yeah, pee off EE. So today I'm cooking steak on the barbecue. I've got fillet and I've got some ribeye. Fillet for the wife because she likes the posh stuff. Ribeye for me because I like the lesser posh stuff. It's going to be one of those where I'm cooking and uh, I'm looking overly looking at the phone, see if anybody's there. And if not, I'll just talk to myself and enjoy life by myself. So, good evening, Thomas. How are you, mate? Second day on the barbecue, as it is. Nice steak cooking. Although, nice and cooler today. Good afternoon. So while I'm stood here for half an hour cooking like a lemon outside my back door. Oh, just a crappy gas barbecue. Yeah, only a cheaper job, 50 pound job. Nothing expensive, you know. Um, fill it for me. Rib no, sorry, fillet for the wine, ribeye for me. Cooking slowly, because slowly is the best way to cook. Means I can have a drink of the old French Rasto. If anybody's had Rasto, really. Um, quite strong on the nose, fruity nose. Quite light, body seems light, if I'm being honest, but got some real good strength in its belly. It is 14 and a half percent. There's the wine. Uh, it's all in French on the back, so I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. It's been 30 years since I was at school and I did my French O-levels. Back then I could probably talk a bit of French. Now, now, yeah, I know what one to ten is in French. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. Un, deux, trois, and so on. But when it comes to actual um, talking French, no. I've been told I can talk bollocks, but uh, yeah, I can't be all I've had a drink. And uh, looking forward to going live tonight. It was a bit strange last night, not doing a proper full on live chit chat. I've, I'm earmarking stuff that, what I've, I've found out with lives is to, on lives, put the beers, supermarket beers I reckon, on lives and keep the, the posh stuff, the stuff where I want to do a non-drunk review non-steaming review rather um on on you know standalone reviews seven o'clock mate seven o'clock normal standard time so yeah i always cook on a low heat because let's be fair my phone dropped twice yesterday doing this so i don't do it again it's the little ones that fill it, and the big ones the ribeye. <laughs> Hello, mate. How are you? Right, I'm going to put this on here and try if my phone not fall on the floor. Yeah, always with steaks. Always cook it at a lower temperature. Bloody yeah. Oh, God. It's not easy. It's not easy balancing. I need to, I need to get a better... Put a slight... That's better. That's better. Now, as long as that don't fall off, we're laughing. And you can see into the garden. All's good. Put the lid down. 
So yeah, looking forward to the, um, there's some controversy in there at the moment with the English and this tech in the knee business. I don't agree with it personally. I think politics should never, ever, ever be in football, whatever the reason. And it's amazing that when, when the English used to wear the, you know, for the, um, oh, the red, Armistice Day, whatever you call it, how uh, the kickoff against it was massive. And now all of a sudden we're doing politics again and uh, I don't think that, um, it, you know, I'm not, I won't be surprised if a lot of countries kick off about it. And uh, it's dangerous precedence has been set. I mean, is it going to be the flavour of the month for politics from now on? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a dodgy manoeuvre myself. There's a top. Whoa. That's got some wall up on it when, when you let the air get to it. It's all about letting it. Letting wines breathe, let air get to it. I look dead short on this video. Well, I am dead short. Five foot four. I seem to be that thing. Good evening, Steve. How are you, mate? Have you recovered from last night? You looked steaming last night. I was watching you in the background on Harry's channel. And uh, one did look rather abbreviated. Is your wife forgiving you? My wife's in the background cooking at the window. So um, she's watching and thinking he's on that fucking line. And, uh, so bollockings are coming. And she's smiling at me as well, so <laughs> that's that's the sort of smile which says, You're getting a cup bollocking in a minute, you are. Yeah. But as long as the steaks cook decent, um, I'm sure she'll be happy. Got to keep the women sweet, you know what I mean? It's, it's, there's, there's a balance. Hence why I've come off the seven day lives because um, not only am I getting my wife out and I'm in the dig. I'm getting the, the kids having a dig as well. Good evening, Brett. How are you, mate? Funny how things work work out in the world, isn't it? You know, a week ago, well, six days ago, you know, it was a strange, um, for you especially. And a week later, and uh, the sun's coming out, as it were. Yeah, the, the Wilco's Artisan kit, that was a strange kit for me as well, because it stunk like a bugger. And I thought, this don't smell nice. Ended up putting it in the hot tub, well, gazebo at the time. And in the end, it came out to be a really, it was a decent lager. Yeah, I'd like to, with these artisan lagers, and with any lagers, I'd like to put flavour to the lagers. You know, like do a strawberry lager. But yeah, you know, homebrew is a fantastic area to get into. And especially if you can afford to go in, in time, do the grain route, go down the grain route. Yeah, good to take your mind off the, the, the stresses of the world, mate. I'm doing the same. I've been planting all day. I've had a good day today, tucking cuttings, planting, and enjoying a bit of um, a bit of life, even though it has rained a bit. Sod the rain, mate. Yeah, I'm wet through, but there you go. Doesn't matter, does it? So. And, you know, the world of homebrew, going into the world of homebrew and moving away from wine for a second. Um, once you, patience is a virtue, having a room where you, you can have a, get your brew on at a good steady temperature, slightly warm, always helps. And it's just starting to spit the rain as I'm cooking. Great. And I can't leave. Cause, uh, now, my wife, she likes her steaks well done. I like my medium. So on this barbecue, look at look as look what I have it. There's the top of the barbecue, which cooks slightly faster, and the bottom of the barbecue, which cooks a little bit slower. So mine stays on the bottom. And get the middle cooked first and then wrap but keep it at low all the time. I've learned far too many times. You put it on high and woof. You know, there's a thing for your channel, you know, an idea for your channel moving forward, um, doing a bit of music on your channel, having a, having a music night, just be blasting out your tunes, um, doing a bit of singing if you sing, I don't know if you sing or not, but you know, it's, um, it's an interesting thing for a YouTube channel moving forward, do what you're good at, if you're good at something, just do it, you know, don't be afraid, in this day and age, 10 years ago, if I knew that I had the balls to talk to a a phone or a camera in that indeed 
and do beer reviews 10 years ago. I wish I'd have done it by now. Wow, could you imagine? Um, I'd, I'd still have the same amount of subscribers, but hey, I, <laughs> you growl. Ah, fair play, you know. I mean, when you listen to some of today's music, not if it's your music, yeah, not if you're the one actually doing the music. No, you wouldn't, you know. If you're singing your songs, I mean, I've got a lot of songs. I've got the Motivator song. Um, I've got some classics over the years, but it was only to piss off somebody I work with. <laughs> uh, stood in the middle of the traffic island, Rotivators broke down, and uh, we're in the middle of the traffic island, and my mate, he's sad he's passed away now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Audi, Tesco, sell it. Very nice. 14 and a half percent. Good evening. I would ring a bell, but I've got no bell to ring. And uh, Well, if I had, I'm not ringing them bells. Um, but yeah, I forgot where I was going now. Yeah, I've lost it. I've gone. It's gone. Yeah. I reckon it's old age, you know. I reckon at a certain time in your life, you just absolutely, you, you, you're talking and you just forget what you're talking about. But yeah, yeah, I mean, doing beer reviews, I mean, all that. Oh, yeah, singing, that was it. So, yeah, on, on, the, on the middle of a traffic island, and I do mean in the middle of Nottingham on the traffic island, head cracker. I, I'm tempted to do head cracker again. It wasn't an expensive kit. And, oh, God, there's the neighbour from hell. Oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear. She's as, she's as awful on the outside as she is on the inside. And, uh, and yet she gets blokes like one of them. No, no accounting for taste. 6.8%. It was not catch. When I did it, it was fantastic. Yeah. A truly decent barley wine. Sometimes it's not, not about what you pay as well. You, know, you can get cheaper. Cheaper barley wine, it does the job. Oh yeah, she's awful. I've had so many issues over the years, kicking footballs against the car, shining laser lights into my rooms. You know, if I'd have been someone who didn't care about the law, I'd have gone across there and wiped the floor with them. And then I'd be in prison, so, you know, it wouldn't have been a good thing. You know, truly some nasty types about. As, as we learn on social media, there are some unpalatable types. And, and I have a real world unpalatable types, you know. It's even worse when you're in your family because you can't get away from that, can you? Such is life. Oh, lovely notes of chocolate. Now the air's got to it. And it's, this is what it is about wine, but not only wine, beer as well. Letting the air, letting it breathe. You get a decent imperial stout. It's, you know, sometimes you, you, I get people saying to me, do five minute reviews. But yeah, but in five minutes, that beer's not. You can... <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I try not to look out of windows, it gets you in trouble. Uh, although it's your bleeding window, and why shouldn't you look out your window? But, um, yeah. But the problem, problem is I've got really, really, apart from when I'm doing beer reviews and I'm trying to look at a bottle, but I've got fantastic eyesight where I can see, I can see into dark rooms and I can see what's going on. And uh, I see stuff over there, some I don't want to see, but some, you know, fruity happenings, shall we say. Which is when when I was walking home the other night from the beer, um, from the night in town with Bristol Bowman Bear reviews. Yeah, you can see stuff, naughty stuff. People should shut the bloody windows, curtain. Well, walking by looking in, not actually, you know, going up to the windows, doing that business. The yeah, beef curtains. Um, so steaks are cooking nicely now. The fillet. I've got to say, it's starting to darken quite nicely. Let me take this off there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always more embarrassing, isn't it, when somebody's there. So there's the steaks. The, um, there we go. Nice fillet. And uh, we're by. And I'll tell you what, for those who shop on a budget, I mean, a lot of us do. A lot of us can't afford bloody steaks. And uh, I get that. So yeah, Iceland, if you like fillet steaks or you like a bit something a bit posh, Iceland blue. Oh you like it bloody. 
I usually, when I, knock, when, I, when I don't cook it right, it's usually bloody. But Iceland, do four fillet steaks. Four fillet, you can get soda on if you don't like fillet. Four for a tenner. They're only dinkum, they're only about this big. But fair play, you know, four for a tenner. Worth it. You could do something like Tesco, you're paying a fiver each. Tesco shopping trolley, it's now, bless you. Good afternoon, Helen. How are you? So, yeah, back on the lives tonight. Looking forward to it. Uh, I've had a day off. Felt ever so strange last night. Sitting in the front room, no lives. Sitting there watching TV, falling asleep. And the neighbour's just gone in as well. Uh, I don't know what it is. I can do beer reviews. Did I have a drink yesterday? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I had a drink. Just didn't do beer reviews. Uh, yeah, but kept off the live. So, I, so you know, this is that balance, isn't it? I mean, knocking it down to three long live lives a week. Prune wine. Oh, bless you. Made from prune juice. <laughs> yes, it's iconic prune wines. Um it uh, it's um it's one of those things that helps you with your if you do have constipation you know there's a funny side to it but um uh you know if, if you like a glass it is funny isn't it? if you like a glass of wine i mean it's it's um, it's a bit it's not the easiest it can be um it can be a bit potent Did you do some lives yesterday yourself? Fair play. Prune and fig wine. Mm. But yeah, the prune wine, if you, if you do suffer with constipation, and I know lots of people do, but you like a glass of wine, it can be a bit harsh. But um, for me, I think it's I think it's a good thing to try. You know, having prune wine and um, helping, you, um, helping you get drunk and helping you, you know, for whatever reason, um, it's, it's a good thing. Oh, real dryness to this now. Um, just got back from the beach, fair play. I think the neighbours just going to all that. Drinking Shiraz, can't fault you, mate. What brand? I've got a ribeye steak on. Ribeye for me, fill it for the wife. Home brew cider, 7%, my type of lady. My wife had a shandy the other day, that's about it. That's about as far as it goes, shandy. You won't get done for copyright if it's your music. Never. If you're the one singing and, it's, and you're the one diddling. It must be lovely to live in the island, man. Do you, do you see trouble? You know, do you see, do you get idiots like you get? I mean, Nottingham, we get a lot of idiots, you know stabbing each other and all that rubbish you know why why it just beggars belief um don't carry knives is the best thing if you've got an issue just walk away yellowtail oh absolutely love yellowtail i must do a yellowtail night although small bottles not big bottles because i can't be drinking um big bottles of yellowtail one i'll get steamy two i'll get a red card and uh, i won't stop and that's not a good thing I mean, to be fair, not that the wife knows, not that hopefully she can, she can hear me, she's next to the window. And um, I had two glasses of this late last night, I think about one in the morning in the end. Help me sleep, lovely. Don't talk to me about rats. Just down here is where I had a situation with rats and, uh, oh, luckily we've got new cats in the area and they're sorting it out. Yeah, yellow-tailed wines are absolutely fantastic, mate. Um, I think for a cheap wine, and they are cheap, it's six to eight quid. Um, I think they're one of the best wines on the market. I really do. For the price, a good introductory wine. Um, a wines that cater for all types of, um, 85,000 alcoholics. Yeah. I need to move over them. I've been good company. Um, Lidl's, yeah, there is some good wines in both Lidl and Aldi, to be fair. Oh, God, there's the poison neighbour. Just walk back. Yeah.
Yes, jammy red. Nice, sweet uh, red wine. I've got friends who don't like it. You know, they say it's too sweet. But each to their own, really. Yeah, they've just heard... Um, I was going to say something witty, but I'm not going to bother. Just get yourself into trouble. And I'm sure people on the internet have learnt, have learnt over the last day to um, harm what they say on YouTube and uh, Facebook and... Uh, media so both the states cooking nicely 20 minutes in yeah about another about another 10 minutes i'll let the fillet cook properly you know it's got to cook <laughs> it's got to cook uh yeah because with social media we must always remember the first whenever you go public with anything on any social media platform on any forum on YouTube, video, when you ever you go public, once it's out in the public domain and you've said something you shouldn't have said, you've bobbed it. And when you lose your job over it, when your channel gets took down, these things can escalate. Prison and all that. It's Rasto, if you've ever had it. Beautiful red wine. About £9 a bottle, not the cheapest. Um, why the hell did I buy a Rasto? I think the neighbour across the road gave it me. I looked after her garden, bless her. She had a liver transplant. And she was in hospital for three months. So I could see her garden was going downhill. And uh, I spoke to somebody who had gone round to look after the cats. And I said, sure that, I've not seen her for ages. And she says, oh, she's in hospital. She's had a liver transplant. I thought, oh, for God's sakes. So I went over and sorted the garden out. And I didn't want any money for it. That's not the way I am. Stuck in your ale way, you'd bless you. We've all got a drink that we like. No, not homebrew today. No, no, not for me. Not at the moment, at least. My homebrew is coming along lovely, to be fair. 15 quid bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some of the strong, some of the, some of the, the more pricey stuff, especially Amarones and Barolas, proper earthy taste to them. Good afternoon. Yes, it's a tad earlier in the, in the day. Cooper's Lock. After talking to a phone when the neighbours are about. Cooper's log. Yeah. The only thing I find with Cooper's is um, their ginger beer kits. The yeast is absolutely crap. No, I've never had a Cooper's beer or log where the yeast is de decent. Always better to get a, a, um, a yeast that you know is going to work. Let's put it that way. Anyway, looks like the sun's coming out again. Somewhat. Sand out of your crack, lovely. I've never had any Coopers from Australia, to be fair. I've had the homebrew kits, obviously. Um, Muntons have actually bought five new homebrew kits out for those into homebrew. Um, not really floating my boat. Love Brewing have also brought out a load of new kits. There's a double IPA they've brought out. Good afternoon. Um, yeah, Muntons, Brew Enhancer, yeah, the Cooper's yeast certainly needs something. I've never seen, I've never seen um, Cooper's to be fair. No, no, I've not seen, I went to Atro's the other week, spent about 80 quid, and, um, Yes, it was about 75 quid. Ouch. 75 quid in Waitrose. Got about 10 bottles. <laughs> Is it good? Well, that's good to hear then. Nice to have a female home brewer. You know, for me, the industry, and it's, you know, in the last week I've been reading and there's been a lot of ladies in the brewing industry that have become very vocal. 
I, th I don't know what's happened in the background, you know, I don't read too much into things, but I, I assume, I really do, yeah, yeah, I must remember to go down as well. Oh, fair play to you, don't we all? <laughs> I've noticed just recently there's been a, there's a, there's been a thing in the beer industry, not across um, the whole beer industry, and obviously let, uh, females, you know, they're not happy about how they've been treated, and fair play to them, you know. Um, you should be treated as a person, not as a colour, not as gender or sexuality or anything like that. A fair place for people to stand up, you know, and, and companies to respect that as well. I mean, I don't know what goes off in the background. You know, I've never heard anything, but, um, and I don't treat people in that respect anyway. I treat everybody as an individual. You see people's names and uh, you just treat people as you would treat, you like to yourself to be treated. And, um, you know, that's why... Anyway, back on the vine. So, enjoying this little bonus. Yeah, this is a bonus live. I'm still here like a numpty anyway, cooking. Waiting for the steaks to brew, um, cook. That's a neighbour gone in again. I almost feel like a cunt when the neighbour walks back. No, I think. Didn't know that was a word in French, did you? But, um, yeah, enjoying this. So now the air's got to it. Oh, it smells luxurious. I know that sounds daft, but uh, when you, it's like when you get a nice imperial stout, you can smell the luxury of the of the fruits in it. Lovely dark fruit on the nose. Dryness on the mouth. It tingles down your tongue. Steaks, mate. I've got a nice fillet steak for the wife. A nice fillet steak for wife and a nice ribeye for me. That's my good neighbour as well, by the way. But I still feel daft talking to a phone and to him. I must have a word one day and just say, if you hear me talking, I'm not, I'm not weird. Well, I'm not overly. And I'm sure people who've been on YouTube sometimes get caught out by neighbours who don't know that they do YouTube. They're outside and the neighbours look over the fence and say, <laughs> or something along them lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That dickhead's talking to the phone, he's a weirdo. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> but then again, you know, I've seen people on theme parks, theme park vloggers talking to cameras. And you know when you know what they're doing, it don't sound, looks a daft. But, you know, the people walk by and you think, what's that to what I'm doing? And... Uh, I swear he's doing that for bedevilment. I bet he's got YouTube on it in his house thinking, I'll keep walking by, it pisses him off. <laughs> it don't piss me off, I just look daft. Anyway, steaks are cooking nicely. I'll give you a quick look at the steaks. The only little, can't afford a lot, we're in Nottingham, you know, the poor. And, uh, whoa, here we go. The little ends the fillet, the big ends the ribeye. Whoa, I feel that heat. If it burns my phone, I'll not be happy. Yeah, I'm going to chop some cheese on it in a minute. Good afternoon, Scott. How are you? I'm jumping into the... Um, I have, I have, no, I've not done a meat, to be fair. I'm jumping into the food review market now. I thought I'd branch out. You know as it is. Um, Steak on the barbecue with you. No, I'm really, really joking. I'm, I don't do that. I can't do spicy stuff anyway. Yeah. I get a bit of pepper on A bit of pepper. Good afternoon, Mr. Rampant Lion. And uh, we're here to celebrate. Um, I don't know why we're celebrating, but... Uh, um, yeah. YouTube has finally woken up. <laughs> yeah. It's all about keeping it fresh, isn't it? Yeah, I do that when I go up at night for a wash you know i like to keep myself fresh you know it helps swedish national day is that today hey beers wines and steak reviews i'll tell you what if i could do a steak every day for the next year i'd crack on and do it it is all about keeping it a bit it's it's it, well dean gaffney's birthday right here who's dean gaffney is he from eastenders 
I know it's my um, niece's birthday today, Emma. She's 20 something or other. Eight, nine. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah. I remember it in my EastEnders, sort of. Yeah. So, nice French red wine today. Yes. Dark fruit on the nose, on the taste, a dryness straight away. Um, letting the air breathe as you do. Oh, I'm not chugging. I'm not chugging. Good afternoon, Harry. I hear that you're um, you was you was uh, watching a bit of Thomas the Tank or Postman Pat or something, and it killed your beer review last night. It must have been after I turned off. To be fair, I noticed she had a spammer on there called William Wayne. He's a bad bugger. He is. You have to watch out for him. I'll tell you what, watch out. For him. Your daughter's three months today. Bless. Enjoy that time. You know, children enjoy babies you know, in the right way, obviously. But, um, yeah, boy, you know, kids growing up, you never see that again. So, you know, as much as they might cry and you have to do dirty nappies and all that other stuff, babies, children, it's when they grow up to be hooded teenagers and they walk in with the mates and like, yeah, bro, yeah. And you're like, bro, don't bro me. Justin Bieber, right, that's it. Yeah, you need to put foot, your foot down, mate. Justin Bieber. Yeah, we all know what he did with his kid. Went on the hotel balcony and didn't he wave his kid over the balcony? I'd have killed him. If I was his mum and dad, I'd have got him afterwards and says, what the hell you done, mate? He'd have got a, he'd have got a good slap on the body for that. So, nice ribeye steak, cooking beautifully. Oh, there's the horrible neighbour again. She's, I think she's going out for tipping. Yeah, Michael Jackson was another one to... And there's the ribeye. You know, if it falls in half and falls on the floor, I will cry. Yeah, the wine does look amazing. I agree. The steaks look okay as well. But yeah, it's a Sunday afternoon. The sun has actually just started to come out. I've been planting all day. It's been a great day. You know, it's uh, it's good to get out in your garden, breathe fresh air. We must always remember that fresh air is good for us. Yeah, and beer and wine. Hey, job's good. And I'm very sober as well, which is uh, really bad. And do you know something? Right. Yeah, you can't fault a drop of wine. Yeah, nice drop of red. French Rasto. I'm sure Mr. La Rampant Lion reviews. By the time you start doing wine reviews, you'll be all knowledge of beers. You just, I mean, to be fair, you slaughter the rest of us with your knowledge of beers and, and the breweries. You know, for those who don't know of James, um, he's a little Scottish bloke with a long beard. But, um, I was about little, he's probably a big bloke. I'll get a good idea when he sees me. But um, his beer reviews are absolutely amazing. I mean, you probably know Rampant Line beer reviews anyway. But his knowledge of the brewery is a second to none. You know, it's as simple as that. And uh, the good thing is that there's so many different um, personalities in the beer review community. Thankfully, not as many as there was yesterday or the day before. But, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, shit stir, Billy. Yeah, you know, always have been, always will be, you know, part of life, isn't it? But, um, yeah, some good people in the beer community. And to the good people, look. He's foreign, yes. Yeah, I'm not starting that. Good afternoon, Craig. How are you, matey? I can just imagine a night out in the town with both Harry and James and start doing their impersonations. And you know I'm going to join in. Because when I've had a drink, I don't give a sh. But I'm still a decent person when I've had a drink. I don't um, spout off, you know. I'm just a piss taker, as you do. Yeah, the community's sound, isn't it? It's what it's about. You know, it's why I joined the community. Two and a half years in, mind you. Yeah. Didn't realise there was a community out there. Didn't realise there was um, actually other people doing beer reviews, to be fair. Well, I know there was about three people. 
I know there was a little chap in Wales. Yeah. I know there was a little chap in Wales doing beer reviews. I knew Dean was doing beer reviews, but for the rest of them, you know, sadly I didn't. Till I'm doing till I'm doing live beer reviews and there's people on the channel with the name beer review and I'm thinking, does he do a beer review? Yeah, funnily enough. Yeah. <laughs> Two and a half years of it, eh? Talk about staying under the radar. Good afternoon as well. That's the neighbour walking by for the 50th time. He's a lovely boy. We get on really well. But if he keeps walking by, I'm going to have to have loads. He's disturbing me for loads. You know when you're, you're doing a review and you're in a flow. And obviously I'm quite sober. I haven't dropped the glass today. I haven't dropped the bottle. And a nice little chat when I'm cooking. Um, steaks are near enough there now. So, But the wine isn't. So I need to start necking the wine. And actually do some sort of review. Goose Island IPA. Afternoon, John. How are you, mate? Um, I do think re-reviews are a good thing. Especially supermarket beers. It's worth re-reviewing and seeing if they've dropped either ABV, quality, and plus also, it's a cheap, it's a cheap review as well. Can't not everyone can afford 10, 15 pound bottles of beer or wine even. And certainly spirits are about 30 quid upwards. So is it National Swedish Day today, um, James? Curiosity, 15% Imperial Stout. Get in. If it is, um, I'll have to do a Swedish beer tonight. I've got some out-of-date ones. You know, it is what it is. Aha. Uh -huh. My son's birthday tomorrow, the 7th of June. The, the late might be a bit late tomorrow night. I hope he's in the shed now. At least he can't hear me. I would review whatever you can. Stuff changes. Sun's coming out. And I'm back on the barbecue in a bit as well because I've got to do my son's beef burgers on the barbecue as well in about an hour's time. And then I've got a live at seven. Busy night. Sat outside on the barbecue. You've had a shower. Bless you. Hey, when's your birthday? Is it today? Prince, wow. Fuck me, I've got some nosy bugger across the road from, from the from the neighbour's house across the road who I don't particularly like staring out the, out the window. Nosy bugger. There are two words I'd like to say to them. But being as I'm not a nasty person, them words are... Oh God. <laughs> Did anybody see the, the advert with the little baby who's in the car? Or was it where, where the animal comes to the car and she turns around and says, Fuck off! Like that, ever so funny. I had to watch it 20 times just to, just to keep laughing. You know. And the steaks are lovely. Right, I need to crack on back. 38 minutes of your good time. I've about run out of um, internet again. So I need to tap the wife up for... Oh, God. They're on the front there. They'll be, they'll be, ever, they'll be looking over it in a minute. My neighbours cut down the shrub that protected my... Um, No, I haven't, no, no. You're doing a live on Wednesday evening? Yeah, good on you, Craig. Is that when you're back home? So, yeah, good legs on this. I don't know if you can see the film on the inside of the glass. Nice. Dark fruits on those, like I've, I've said a few times. Yeah, I'm, really oh God, I'm starting to get, I'm starting to feel it now as well. The, the wine's getting to me now. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Fuck me. I'm steaming. I fell off court. Oh, you're back on Tuesday. Fair play. Oh, God. All of a sudden, the wine's just hit me. Right, I'm going round in a minute and I have to have a look at my neighbour. Can you stop walking by? You're making me paranoid. Bad enough that I've got people, that window in the background, can you see that window just there? That one. They're nosy focus as well. They look out the window again.
And the other window, just there, you can't truly see the other window, but that's where that student lives. He may be a fan of the channel for all I know. Or he might just be somebody who likes staring out at you and freaking you out. I don't know. You know I kind of worry when people are staring and freaking you out. You know, you start to get worried, don't you? Go out, 15% battery. Right, needs to crack on. Anyway, um, I'm joking, by the way. So I'm, you know, I've got great neighbours there. They're shitter. I don't give a fuck about them. Horrible neighbours. Always had issues. In the 70, 15 and 17 years we've lived here, I had so much shit off them. Awful neighbours. But, sadly, they still live here, you know. They're better than what they was. I still hate them, but, you know, that, that's life, isn't it? You know, you're always going to get one neighbour you don't get on with. Um, I've, I've never spoke to them. I stopped somebody burgling their house one night, but, hey -oh. Did you get a thanks? No, I didn't. No. no. Shouldn't let them get burgled. Uh, but that's not, that's not the raggy way. You know, I, you know, you stick up for your neighbours. That is the way you do it, you know. Because if they burgle, then they'll burgle next door neighbours, and then you get burgled. You know. But anyway, so... Beautiful dark red fruits on the paw, lovely legs on the glass. Now the air's got to it. 41 minutes, the air's got to it. And not just the um, glass, but the, the aroma's really got up. Um, quite dry at the front, it's resonating around the mouth now. Beautiful flavour. Uh, oh God, the wife's just looked out the window, she's thinking he's in for a bollocking. I've seen her just come to the window, she's looking, she's thinking, right, I'm having you in a minute, you uh, not Bastard. Them sort of words. Idiot. Idiot is better, and it? It's not swearing. Um, yeah, the red card's coming out, it's coming out, here they come. Yeah, it's like being on the football field. You, you, you know when you, the referee's looking at he's thinking, right, son, that's it, red card. That's the red card I'm getting. Yeah, she's in the crossfires, yeah. Yeah, she's looking at that stake and thinking, I bet he's burnt that steak yakking. Yeah, it's certainly well cooked. Um, right. Whoa, real dry burst of plum, blackcurrant, blackberry on the flavour. Gotta say. If you can get hold of a Rasto, really nice red wine. Um, this was about nine or ten pound a bottle. I'm not sure if I bought it or I got it off the neighbour. Whatever it is, it tasted nice anyway. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm going to enjoy my steak now. So, thank you everybody for joining in to this. Uh, yeah, you can't beat a nice red. Yellow tail all day long. But that's nice as well. Yeah. Um, it's been a good one. I've enjoyed this. It's been, um, been nice to have a chat. And uh, right, in for a bollocking, in for a penny, in for a pound. And uh, thank you all. See you soon. Oh, out of five. Jesus Christ, nearly forgot. Out of five for this fella. Um, for me, a top quality red wine got better with air, with air. The air you need it to breathe. Hey, oh, people are getting out the car across the road looking at twat. Uh, why cut that bloody start time? You get in later. Out of five, a good 4.5 out of five. Would I drink it again? That's the big thing. Yes, all day long. Top quality red wine. Cheers, everyone. See you later. Bye.